And now to the Florida Keys. Scuba divers enjoying their time in the water, coming across a major find. They spotted a huge haul of cocaine floating in the water. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live in Key Largo with the story. Janine. The folks here at Rainbow Reef here in Key Largo, they're good stewards of the environment. When they take tourists out and they see what they think is trash, they pick it up. Well, this recent find was something else. We went to pick it up and he's like, wow, this is a little different. A diving trip in the Florida Keys like no other. Tourists on board the Tropical Destiny had just finished exploring a wreck off Key Largo when they noticed something big floating in the water. It was a big square um, block, very hard, very tightly packed. This worker who doesn't want to show his face says he knew when they hoisted it onto the boat and shoved it under this bench, it probably wasn't trash and called the authorities. You always hear stories about the drugs and everything, but that's the first time we really kind of had a hands-on involvement with it. Monroe County Sheriff's deputies take the suspected drugs that then go to U.S. Border Patrol, where agents say this is cocaine, worth more than a million dollars on the street. So in total, 25 bricks of cocaine. And one of the first things that you notice about it right here, this Nike logo. It's common for us in some of these, uh, these washed up or, or drug narcotic loads that, that we find uh, to have different markings. We've seen uh, all sorts of designer um, brands. We've seen numbers that could be associated with a particular smuggling organization. Where this load might have come from is under investigation. The drugs will be secured and eventually destroyed. I'm glad we caught it. That's it's it's a lot of drugs that's not gonna be in use. So that's a good thing. The U.S. Border Patrol, Monroe County Sheriff's Office, the U.S. Coast Guard, all of those agencies will get phone calls about these drug wash-ups, and they say that's the right thing to do. We're in Key Largo. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. That's quite the find. Janine, thank you.